Okay, you don't want to watch a 20 minute video to see how to do this, so let's get started. Slip a screwdriver under this retaining pin. Just kind of pry it out. It should slide right out pretty easily once you put a little bit of pressure on it. And set that aside. You're going to need that in a second. This is the unloader. Slip your screwdriver behind one of the last springs here and slowly pry it out. It should pop out, again, fairly easily. There you go. That's your unloader valve. That's what you're looking for. You want to make sure that this piece here moves freely. If it doesn't, that's causing your problem and you need to clean that. So just loosen it up a little bit, get some, uh, you know, break free in there or a uh, blaster or something like that in there and just free that up. That's all you're going to need to do. Also, most people forget to tell you that you need to make sure that this little port here on the side is clean. So get you a little pick or something, stick it in there, clean it out, make sure there's no debris, no debris blocking that little port. This moves freely. There's no debris blocking that. And uh, that's pretty much it. You're going to want to uh, smear a little bit of grease around these O-rings before you go ahead and put this thing back in place. If I didn't mention, you're done already. Okay, let's put this thing back. Just slide it in. Just reverse the process. Slip it back into place. Grab something that's not going to damage those end threads. Tap that back into place so that it seats properly. Just takes a few little taps there, as you see. Grab your retaining pin, slip it back in the little slot there, and tap it into place so that it seats properly. You're done watching this video. Thanks.